Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to repair an uncontaminated bacterial culture using aseptic technique. You should then be able to describe how to investigate the effect of antibiotics on bacterial growth. And both of these are for triple biology students only. In the last video we saw that bacteria reproduce by binary fission. Given enough nutrients and a suitable temperature, bacteria can double in number every 20 minutes. So in this video we're looking at how to culture bacteria. I'm showing you a bacterial culture here. Now these bacteria are growing in a nutrient broth solution. This contains all the nutrients that the bacteria need to grow and divide. The broth's cloudy because it contains a very large number of bacteria. Now another way to culture bacteria is to use an agar gel plate, which I'm showing you here. Agar gel plates contain nutrient broth, but that's been set into a jelly using a chemical called agar. This is then poured into a petri dish and allowed to set. On an agar gel plate, the bacteria grow into visible colonies, and you can see them here. Now, when we make a nutrient broth solution or agar gel plates, it's really important that we avoid contamination, and you could be asked how to do this in your exam. There are lots of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi naturally in the environment and these could easily contaminate our cultures. So the first stage is that we carefully sterilise all petri dishes, bacterial nutrient broth and agar. This kills any unwanted microorganisms and it prevents contamination. Now bacteria are normally transferred into the culture using an inoculating loop like this one. And again, we need to sterilise the inoculating loop before using it. To do that, we pass it through a flame, for example, of a Bunsen burner. Once we've transferred bacteria onto the dish, we then attach the lid using adhesive tape. This stops the lid from falling off and any unwanted microorganisms from entering. We then place the agar plate upside down into an incubator. This stops moisture from dripping down onto the bacteria and disrupting the colonies. In school laboratories, we normally incubate bacteria at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, this reduces the chances that harmful bacteria will grow and you could be asset in your exam. Now, we can use agar plates to investigate the effect of antibiotics on bacterial growth. That's required practical, so we're going to look at that now. First, we clean the bench with disinfectant solution. This kills microorganisms that could contaminate our culture. Next, we sterilise an inoculating loop by passing it through a Bunsen burner flame. Now we open a sterile agar gel plate near a Bunsen burner flame. The flame kills bacteria in the air. We now use the loop to spread the chosen bacteria evenly over the plate. Finally, we place sterile filter paper discs containing antibiotic onto the plate. The plate's then incubated at 25 degrees Celsius. After a few days, the plate should look something like this. The bacteria formed a layer on the surface of the agar gel. Around the antibiotic discs, we've got a region where the bacteria have not grown, and that's called the zone of inhibition. We can measure the effect of the antibiotic by calculating the area of the zone of inhibition, and to do that, we use this equation. The area equals pi multiplied by r squared. r is the radius of the zone of inhibition. So looking at this example, the radius is 12 millimetres. The value of pi is 3.142. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us an area of 452.45 square millimetres to two decimal places. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on culturing microorganisms and this required practical in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how to prepare an uncontaminated bacterial culture using aseptic technique. You should then be able to describe how to investigate the effect of antibiotics on bacterial growth.